Deepesh, what are some of the most common threats that come with LLMs, Agentic AI and the likes that the current web application firewalls are not able to handle? Today, you know, every customer utilizes a web application firewall, right? And at Akamai, we provide market leading capabilities. We probably have the largest, uh, you know, customer base when it comes to high end customers. And we're very proud of what we do today. But we have seen from the, from the research that our folks have done is that the attackers are now kind of going after a different landscape when it comes to Gen AI applications and they're attacking the LLM themselves. And it's, it's, a, it's different, right? Because the way these sort of, you know, conversational AI agents or chatbots or other things that are evolving and being utilized the, the threat vectors are different. The attackers are utilizing different techniques and methods to do, right? So think about, you know, two or three common examples. So one is prompt injection. So we see, you know, attackers reframe the prompts and do role play and other things to bypass the guardrails and to extracting information or asking for these set of prompts that kind of lead to break into something that is sensitive or, or even through some of these input output prompts, they're adding, you know, phishing websites or, or malicious information, right? So you got that going on, which is, you know, again, unique to Gen AI and LLMs and how the industry is, uh, is adopting all of this stuff. Uh, data poisoning is another example, you know, malicious data is injected into the training sources, you know, you can put in a, a phishing URL and, and when you ask those questions, the data sets will open up and you could end up the chatbot giving a response. And that is a kind of fake website or a fake uh, you know, URL in which the user will end up going to. Uh, sensitive data leakage, right? We see uh, you know, PII information leakage. We see uh, you know, different techniques on maybe it is a, a multilingual prompt, right? You ask something in English, then you ask something in Spanish and you might be able to kind of break through utilizing a combination of all of these things. Uh, uh, so there are, you know, ample of examples that we are seeing again and again and again. And uh, I think customers want, you know, to really uh, utilize AI to improve the end user experience or to be faster at responding things or help their internal employees or external customers. And I, I'm personally, you know, as an engineering leader, I am personally believe in it. Like I feel that my internal teams will significantly benefit by utilizing AI tools and techniques and capabilities to improve the customer user experience or to go faster with code development, et cetera. But then when I put on my security hat, I'm like, hey, you know, we gotta have all of the right security focus and armor because there are a lot of use cases when it comes to uh, you know, uh, breaking through the Gen AI applications and breaking through the LLMs, et cetera. And we know OWASP has issued a top 10 uh, for LLM security, right? So we're starting to see some playbooks emerge, starting to see the industry align on this front too.